Hello ladies and gentlemen, lovely to see you on the channel again, and if you're new, welcome. So this guy will just offer some tips and tricks, as well as how to install red mods, so let's just begin. This process can be difficult and annoying, because if you uninstall a mod incorrectly, it may interfere with the stability of your game. Additionally, the mod may not work again if you reinstall it in the future, and still have leftover files you haven't removed. So it's important you understand how to uninstall mods properly. I have a simple method for uninstalling mods, I call this cross-referencing and eliminating. So firstly, figure out what mod you want to uninstall. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using Always First Equip. Sometimes models will include installation instructions and uninstallation instructions. However, not all models will do this, so this is when my tech comes into play. Firstly, scroll up and select Files. After that, if you look below Manual Download, there is something called Preview File Contents. This is usually easily missed, but can be extremely helpful. Upon selecting it, it will show every file and folder the modder has put together for the mod. Finally, go back to your Cyberpunk 2077 folder and cross-reference the files and eliminate said files properly. Well done, you've uninstalled the mod correctly. Just be careful of uninstalling some mods halfway through a playthrough or near the end, as some mods may not uninstall properly in this regard and may cause issues, such as gameplay mods. Troubleshooting can be quite difficult. Unfortunately, there isn't a sure way to troubleshoot correctly, but the most common solution is process of elimination. For instance, if your game is flatlining or crashing, yet it was stable before installing a new mod, that new mod is most likely conflicting with your game's stability. However, this process is much more difficult if you have a lot of mods. In that case, you would uninstall 3-5 to five mods at a time, boot your game up, and check to see if the issues are still persisting. And if the issue remains, those 3-5 to five mods are most likely safe, and you can return them back. You would then move on to the next 3-5 to five mods that you haven't checked, and rinse and repeat the process until you've eliminated said conflict. Another tip I can offer is to install this mod called Skip Main Menu. The purpose of this mod is as follows, when you boot up your cyberpunk it will skip the opening loading screen and the menu screen and instantly load your last saved game. This makes troubleshooting more convenient and less of a heartache. Lastly, be sure to set your cyberpunk to windowed borderless, I've had more crashes on full screen than windowed borderless. Firstly, you will need to download and install cybercmd. To install cybercmd, download the latest version from Nexus, open the WinRAR, and then drag and drop the bin folder to your main cyberpunk directory. Now that's some deja vu right there. Additionally, you will need to have the latest version of RedScript. Once done, go to the official cyberpunk modding tools website and select the icon of which platform you use. So Steam, GOG or Epic Games. For this video, I'll use Steam. Upon clicking the link, log into your Steam account or use the Steam launcher as I did. Once that is done, it should automatically download it for you. Then proceed to go to your Cyberpunk 2077 root folder and you'll see modding tools and mods. That's it. Keep in mind archive slash PC slash mod will still work but as more time progresses more red mods will be available so feel free to make a switch when that happens and place it in the mods folder instead in that case. This is quite difficult to know in general, but so far I haven't seen any compatibility issues with archive files. However, there may be compatibility issues with mods that affect the same files. For example, gameplay via combat mods. If you were to install combat overhaul and level scaling and balance, they would interfere with one another in regard to the level scaling aspect. Whilst this isn't a surefire way to ensure compatibility, there are other methods to figure out compatibility. Another method is to simply ask the modder via the post section of Nexus and or if you are fortunate enough the model will state whether a mod is compatible with, with another on the modder's description. You can also read feedback given from other Nexus users. Another good example is vehicle combat and enhanced police. Reading both of the names first, the mods seem compatible right? 
However, upon further inspection, vehicle combat not only allows you to fight enemies on vehicles, but it modifies the whole police system, and what does enhanced police do? The exact same thing. Therefore, they are not compatible with one another. So what does a clean installation do exactly? A clean installation wipes all your mods in your cyberpunk directory as well as your print screen screenshots in the bin folder. It will also make your cyberpunk unstable until you verify integrity or repair game files. However, when done correctly it can fix many issues such as a mod conflict or a broken mod, a badly installed mod, and or if a new cyberpunk update arrives. Disclaimer, since my clean installation guide got removed by YouTube and I got hit by a strike, I cannot be held responsible for what happens to your game upon clean installing. I have clean installed my game multiple times and have faced no issues, but do so at your own risk. If you don't want to follow this, you can instead uninstall and reinstall Cyberpunk. This will take longer, but the decision is entirely up to you. Keep in mind that clean install will delete all your mods. It will not, however, delete important game files and won't delete your saves. So, to clean install, you'll only need to delete these five folders, bin, engine, mod, in archive, pc, slash mod, your r6 folder, and your red4x folder if you have it. I'm not going to show how to do this because since I got striked, it was most likely from someone reporting the video, so I can't show that, I'm sorry guys. Keep in mind, a clean install will delete all your mods, it will not however delete important game files and won't delete saves, but once you do that, simply repair and verify integrity through Steam or GOG, your game state will then automatically revert to vanilla state. Thank you so much for watching Tumes, the next video will of course be a 1000 subscriber special so keep a lookout for that and look after yourselves mentally and physically and I'll see you here next time. You're all breathtaking. Money, 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 money.